Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm going to try to do another kata today. Today I'm going to be pre-filling an array in JavaScript. This is a relatively simple operation here. It says create the function prefill that returns an array of n elements that all have the same value v. See if you can do this without using a loop. Now I have to provide some validation here. v can be anything primitive or otherwise. If v is omitted, fill the array with undefined. If n is 0, return an empty array. If n is anything other than an integer or integer formatted string that is greater than or equal to 0, throw a type error. Okay, sounds simple enough. Let's come through here quickly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw this down the side here. And I'll go ahead and get started with this. Uh, so function prefill. Prefills an array with the array of the given length with the given value. Function prefill length value. I'm going to export this out to test out with node. Alright. First parse the length argument as an integer length uh, const length int equals parse int length make sure that does not come out as nan if a number is nan length int or length int is less than zero. Throw new type error back tick length is invalid. Alright, so far so good. Return an empty array if length is zero. If length int is zero, then return a blank array. Now, create the array with JavaScript's explicit array constructor giving the length integer as a parameter. On that call the fill method to fill our new array with this value. Return that array. Return new array length dot fill value. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out with node. Clear node. Const p equals require prefill. Now our prefill function loaded in. Let's try uh, Test, test. That works. P minus four 
test p5 math.rand with NS float. Throw an error. No, error is, is a float. It's a float. Okay, uh. Give me one moment. Okay, how about uh, this? Okay, what I'm running into is gotta gotta throw if the number provided is a float. Okay, now uh, I think that will do. Let's get rid of this extra white space here. Or length modulus one. Let's try this. Copy. I go up here. A. Hey, go up here. Thank you. Alright, let's attempt this. Let's try this one. There we go. Is Nan or a floating point value? All right, looks like it's passing our tests. All right, very good. I'm going to submit that. Uh, looks like that is all good today. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Dennis. I'm out. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.